All right, here we are, a uh, before and after video. This is the American Gun Company double barrel side-by-side 12 gauge that I picked up at uh, the Wanamaker Gun Show. Uh, it's overall in pretty good condition. Uh, I am going to do some cleaning up on it. I am going to see if I can get out some of the scratches and things in the stock. I might refinish the stock a little bit. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm going to do that. I am going to clean it up. There's a little bit of uh, rust down in here in the... Uh, in the groove between the rib and the barrel. Um, gonna do some disassembly, cleaning, that kind of thing. Uh, as far as the action, it's actually in really good condition. Its triggers are great, hammers are great. Um, break open works perfectly, so no mechanical issues. Uh, just kind of some cosmetic stuff and getting it cleaned up. Uh, another thing I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to do yet is whether or not I'm going to cut the barrel. Um, I do not need a 20, I believe this is a 28 inch double barrel shotgun. I just, I don't need one. This is not a, a shotgun I would hunt with. Uh, and I would kind of like a coach gun. So I'm leaning that way and cutting it down to about 18 and a half inch barrel. Uh, so that may be what I do. I don't know yet, but uh, either way, this, this is the before on the American Gun Company double barrel 12 gauge that I picked up. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, get straight to the after, and I will uh, show you guys what I did. Alright guys, well here we are, all finished up. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Obviously, the uh, biggest change to this is chopping the barrel down. I originally chopped it down to 18 and a half inches, but with the filing and everything and getting it all smooth, it's probably sitting a little over 18 and a quarter, give or take, right now. So we got a nice little short kind of coach gun style, double barrel shotgun in 12 gauge. Uh, really happy with how it turned out. Um, with the uh, stock itself and the forend, I didn't uh, do a whole lot to them. I cleaned them up, but no sanding or anything. Just got them cleaned up and then went ahead and put a couple of uh, coats of true oil on here just to seal up the stock. I wasn't really concerned about dents and things like that with a shotgun this old, so I think that came out really well. Went ahead and polished up the receiver as best I could. There's going to be some old school oxidation and stains and things like that in here that I couldn't get out polished up the, uh, the trigger guard, uh, went in and cleaned everything out internally, made sure everything was good to go. I love the exposed hammers here. They work great. So smooth. Clean, just, just clean breaking triggers. Wonderful and very happy with it. Went ahead and put on uh, one of these uh, bronze dog uh, ends. Also put one of these on my 308 bolt action rifle. It, it fits well, but this piece back here for some reason sticks out. So I don't know if I'm going to cut that off or restitch it or something but it, it sticks out a little bit here you don't notice it when you shoulder up the gun but it just looks annoying uh, leather laces again just like with my 308 uh, again leather laces will eventually kind of stretch and come loose and you have to either retighten these or swap it out with some boot laces or something like that that'll cinch down and and stay tight but for now we've got uh, six extra rounds of 12 gauge in here i think it looks nice nice brown leather there um, other than that, cleaned it up, uh, did go ahead and re-blew the barrel, uh, just uh, gave, it a, gave it a once over there just to kind of clean it up a little bit and give it some contrast between the barrel and the receiver, which is stainless, but of course being as old as it is, that's why you've got these little black marks on here that just aren't going to go away and I wasn't going to worry too much about it again. This was a very, very inexpensive shotgun and uh, it's very old, so there's not really much reason to put too much time and effort into it. Most of what you see here cost me almost nothing. I already had the bluing. I already had all the materials I needed to, to clean the thing up and the true oil and everything else. The only thing I had to buy was, uh, was the, uh, the shell holder here. That was about 27, 28 bucks on Amazon. Uh, other than that, I didn't have to buy anything for this. Uh, I was just ready to go with the materials that I had on hand. So there you go. There is the, uh, the American Gun Company double barrel 12 gauge uh, that has now been turned into a, uh, to a nice little coach gun. Very happy with it. Very happy how it turned out. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. So there you go. All right. You got any questions, any comments, anything like that? Leave it down below and we will talk to you guys later.